Well, I'm here with the FIDE Vice President Lukash Turlej. Uh, Lukash, World uh, Rapid... It's, it's, it's Lukash Turlai. Turlai. Okay, <laughs> got it. Uh, Lukash, the World Rapid and Blitz was cancelled roughly 15 days ago. And mm -hmm. you've managed to stage this, FIDE has managed to stage this in Warsaw. Mm -hmm. Could you take us through like how it happened and you know how was this made possible mm -hmm. yeah it sounds like uh, any mission impossible but uh, when when we heard um, that kazakhstan unfortunately cannot organize it um, we started to think about uh, hosting this event in poland actually for many years uh, uh, we were thinking to, to have this event because I, I i find this event as one of the most entertaining in the in the in the world of chess uh, so uh, we had we have uh, some contact with the government of uh, officials with uh, minister Lukas schreiber who is uh, helping a lot um, he was following the match in in dubai so we, we were in in touch uh, and uh, actually we were discussing maybe if kazakhstan resigns maybe we can organize it but uh, but um, i think it was more like a joke but um, within i would say 20, 20 hours, probably less than 20 hours. Um, some uh, consultation on the level of government, on the level of prime minister in, in Poland happened. Uh, I informed um, FIDE president, Arkady Vorkovic, that, that, uh, it is, that maybe it will be possible to, to um, hold it in, uh, to host um, the best players in, uh, in Poland. We had... <laughs> We had we had uh, long discussions uh, both with uh, uh, Mr. President, with of course with Emil, because uh, one thing is uh, to have a will to to for the country to who is willing to help, but on the other hand, uh, from the FIDE point of view, um, it's very important to have uh, this kind of event on on very high level, um, uh, not only from the sport perspective, but also or, or organizational perspective. Uh, and um, last uh, 16 and a half days are. Let's say the most uh, extreme uh, time uh, in in my chess life, but I'm very happy to to see how many um, Polish uh, organizers, uh, chess players, um, decided to to um, get involved. Um, everyone is working on uh, like 24 hours uh, per per day, I would say, and uh, and so far I'm very satisfied with uh, with uh, results. Uh, it's a huge team uh, of, of um, people working in different areas. We have uh, a lot of support from, um, from Polish government, uh, from Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki as well himself. He's planning to visit uh, the, the championship. Uh, and uh, I'm really hoping that uh, all the um, players um, who are coming to Warsaw, they will enjoy uh, their, their stay. And I'm really also hope, hoping that uh, they will see the work of um, organizers, volunteers, and maybe some of them will even just approach them to thank, because it's a uh, huge work that many of people um, did for the last two weeks. No, I can vouch for that, because I myself was in Dubai. Mm -hmm. And it was impossible to get the Schengen visa to come here. Mm -hmm. But uh, somehow when I went with the invitation letter to the Polish embassy, mm -hmm. they were like, yes, you will get it in four days. Um, yes, uh, actually, this, is, uh, this tournament is not that difficult to be organized from the sport perspective. Tournament for 300 uh, people in Poland uh, are being organized, I would say, every week. But here, um, there are so many requirements to build the stage for the uh, first, first board, for example. But as you are saying, one of the first things that we had on our list um, it was to, to organize visas for, for mm. everyone. Of course, chess people cannot do it by themselves. Uh, and we, we had a huge uh, help from the Polish government, from the uh, Polish uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And all the consulates in the, in the world were informed. Um, the, one of the first consulates to, to, to be informed was Abu Dhabi because still many people were, were in, in Dubai and for many of them, as, as for yourself, it would be 
very difficult to come back uh, to uh, to their um, country to to get a meeting in in the embassy. So so I I, I would like to thank all the people in uh, in this consulate as, uh, who were working sometimes uh, after after their working hours, um, uh, even during Christmas to to like just before Christmas to organize everything. And uh, so far I don't have any information that someone was applying for visa uh, unsuc unsuccessfully. Wow, that is tremendous. Also, a look at the playing hall, and it seems very different. You know, uh, mm. it kind of if you see there is a lot of space between the boards. Like maybe you are adhering to the COVID protocol, and also mm. the entire room, as you can see, like all the players will be in one room. I haven't mm. seen a playing hall like mm. this. Um, of course, COVID protocol is very important, um, but uh, also the, the comfort of players, um, especially at this event, uh, in, has to be taken in, into the, the consideration. Here we have uh, 3,100 square meters, so for about 300 players, I think it will be more than, uh, more than enough. Uh, we will not allow um, spectators to enter the room. Unfortunately, because uh, as we've seen in both Petersburg or Moscow, it was a great uh, experience, especially for young players. But we prepared some place on the balcony, just over top board, so, so we will allow spectators to, to come and see top players. Wow, that will be nice. And also the venue is the Narodowski Stadium, which is, one of, which is the home stadium of the Polish football team. Yes, um, it's, a, it's a new stadium built for Euro 2012. Uh, most of uh, games of football, uh, of Polish uh, national team in football, with Lewandowski, um, they're playing in here with full stadium. It's, it's very, actually very hard to buy tickets, uh, buy tickets for, for these games. And I, actually the stadium looks very nice from outside as well. So, so I, I, I'm sure that many players will make some yes. photos, selfies uh, with the stadium, especially in, in the evenings, uh, colors white and red, which is our flag. Um, I, I think it's, it's very important to have to have a um, nice venue for, for this, uh, this event because uh, in people in many countries will, will be talking about this event. And this is uh, um, PGNG, PGE, PGE Narodowe. This is the name of the official name of the stadium and uh, everyone in Poland knows uh, the venue. And, uh, and actually for chess, I think it's good that um, people are connecting chess with sport because some, still you have the discussions. It's just a sport and when you are playing in the, in the sport venue, it's easier. Yeah, absolutely. And there's the ground here itself outside. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you go outside, the view is spectacular. It, yes, it, it, it's, uh, it's actually very nice that you will be playing uh, in, the, um, in the conference center uh, from where you can see, uh, see the, the, like in, inside the stadium. As you said, this stadium is very popular. So there's a lot of mm -hmm. transport that comes here. In fact, I mean, you have made transport available, but mm -hmm. I could find a tram and it went from the Marriott Hotel mm -hmm. straight here. So actually it's mm -hmm. very easy to reach as well. Um, yes, it was our, our goal not to have a venue very far from the, from the hotel, of course. And uh, I believe during uh, this uh, Christmas break, um, it will be 10 minutes uh, by, by bus. Uh, but also, as you are saying, uh, it's possible to come here by tram uh, or, uh, or yes. someone can decide to make a walk. However, it's minus 5. It's only minus 5 <laughs> because uh, this time it can be minus 20, minus 30. Uh, but uh, but it, it is possible. It is possible uh, to, to have a walk. It's like half an hour walk. And to get all the players in one hotel, was that also difficult or Marriott was the natural choice? Um, we were considering many different choices, um, but uh, we, we wanted to offer one place just in case of, um, of any development with, um, uh, with, with a pandemia. Uh, because if you have players um, in many places in, in, uh, in the city, it might be more difficult. But, uh, but here um, it was like 
as, as it was prepared in Riga, for example. Yeah? All the players were in, in one hotel, and, and it was one of the reasons why the um, government of Latvia allowed the, the tournament to be played. So, but still, I think Marriott Hotel is a very nice five-star five hotel. And also, we, um, thanks, to, thanks to our colleagues from Polish Chess Federation, it was possible to ne negotiate uh, very nice uh, rates. Uh, 70 euro for a bed and breakfast in double room. I, I think it's a very good deal in a city center of, of Warsaw. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, now that tomorrow the games will start, what are the major challenges still left to be overcome? Mm, some of the of Polish uh, Polish organizers are saying that the main uh, challenge is to make sure that we will have the Polish anthem both at the beginning and at the closing, <laughs> which, you know, what does it mean? Uh, but um, I think there are many, still many challenges, but um, like people are working... Uh, uh, <coughs> people, people are working to, to solve all, all, the, all the problems which are, which are appearing. Um, and uh, I, I prefer not to talk about problems. Our main goal is to make sure that uh, players who are coming in here, they will not um, see any problems. The problems should stay stay internally, so that we can see um, solve solve all the problems before um, it starts to be a problem for players. This is success of organizers. But uh, I hope, even with only 16 days for preparation, that uh, player will, will have very nice uh, experience here, both in the hotel, playing and uh, and also to enjoy the time in in Warsaw. Warsaw over um, over winter is very beautiful. A lot of lights, uh, uh, some places where where you can uh, buy some some Christmas gifts still. So so I, I hope that people from all around the world will enjoy their stay. Amazing, and it's a great tournament to look at because you have Magnus Carlsen, Nepo, mm -hmm. Firuja. Karuana, Nakamura, I mean, it's all the players. Have yes, yes. I, I don't know if all of the previous events were that, that strong. Because when you look on at the top 10, it's hard to say who is not coming. Uh, and uh, also, from most of our organizers are, of course, chess players. So for us, it's also very, very important. Absolutely. Very important uh, to, to know that. Uh, all the top guys will be playing here. Um, I, I think it's very fair to say that it will be the strongest tournament ever played in Poland. Um, of course, we had Olympiad uh, before before the war in 1935, but it's difficult to compare. But to have uh, all the top players, um, world champion, uh, world champion classic, uh, classical chess, rapid and leads actually, uh, to, to play in Warsaw, it's a uh, like great uh, honor for us, great privilege. Uh, and um, and we'll, but we'll see who will be a champion after this event. And I think for, for Polish fans, it's also very interesting because Duda uh, has reached the candidates and mm -hmm. he clearly can win the title here. So, you know, they have a clear mm -hmm. person to root for. Um, yes, especially that the young of Duda has just won European beat um, a championship. Um, but uh, it's a very good question if um, the, the thing that you're playing in your country in chess is helping you or not. Mm. Of course, um, supporters are, are um, will be coming here for um, for many players, but mostly for Jan Krzysztof Duda. Uh, however, to put additional pressure on Jan Krzysztof, it's uh, uh, it's it's never easy. Of course, it's never easy. However, he's in very very good uh, shape. He he's prepared, and uh, and of course. He loves to play, especially blitz. Yeah, he's uh, a silver medalist of um, 2018 yes. um, World Blitz uh, Championship from St. Petersburg. It's amazing run when everyone else was uh, out of the of the fight for gold, and only Yankees to do that. And Magnus Carlsen were were there. Uh, I, I think, uh, of course, I'm rooting for Jan Krzysztof, but also for other Polish players. Um, Maciej Klekowski, for example, uh, players who, who was not top seeded in European Championship, finished still, uh, on second place. So uh, this is also the thing that, that when you have so many uh, Polish players, uh, because you are playing in Warsaw, of course, all of them uh, registered. Um, uh, you have a chance for some surprise. Mm. But uh, speaking of players, what I'm very happy about 
notice that so many young players will have a chance. According to regulations, uh, um, uh, organizer, uh, organizing country can, uh, can propose some, some uh, people to play as a wild cards. And many of them would never play this tournament because they are not having this 25, 50 or, or um, this rating. But, but still, when you have very talented 20, 300 player, they will have very nice chances against these yeah. uh, top guys, I, I believe so. And I think it will be a huge boost to their chess as well, that they get to play the top players also to see them up mm -hmm. so close. Um, of course, of course, the, the, the thing that uh, you're playing uh, in the same tournament with the world champion, that you can uh, finish your game and just walk 50 meters and see, as you said, uh, Caruana, Nakamura, Carson, um, Ali Reza, uh, all the top, top guys, it's, uh, it's, I think it's very important also for the motivation, uh, of, uh, especially for the young players. If you can just go to the first board of the World Championship, um, uh, World Beats uh, Championship, you can see this uh, chair and say, one day I'll play there. And uh, with so many, so many uh, players uh, of, the, of the host country, I think one of them in next uh, next years uh, will be playing there and uh, um, to organize tournament uh, in your country you, you, when you are organizing tournament you're in your country you will have effect like this amazing and lastly we would like to know a bit about you uh, mm -hmm. are you also a chess player how did mm -hmm. you get into fide and what has been your journey overall um, I am chess player I'm my rating is not that, that strong to play World, uh, world Championship. I'm a 2200 uh, player. I love to play both um, over the board and online. However, I prefer to play over the board, of course. Um, I'm uh, organizer of uh, sport events uh, in, uh, in Poland. Uh, lately, we, we were organizing, for example, European champ championship. Mm, a couple of years ago, we organized the, the biggest event of European Chess Union for 1,500, uh, 1500 players. Uh, and uh, we are trying to promote the game of chess in, in Poland, both by, by organizing um, events for, for top grandmasters, but also to, um, uh, to organize many events for, for people who uh, start to play for chess, uh, chess in schools. Chess in schools in Poland is quite, uh, quite strong uh, as a tool in education, not, a, not as, a, as a thing to, to make sure that uh, kids will become grandmasters. Uh, but uh, we are spending, with, with many people in Poland, Many people are, are spending uh, a lot of their time to, to um, develop the game of uh, our beloved game, game of, uh, of chess. And I'm very happy that so many people and also very famous journalists from, from the world are coming and they will see uh, not only this tournament, but they will, they will hear about um, everything good about Polish chess. True, true. And uh, about FIDE, how did you get into it and when did your journey begin into FIDE? Um, my journey in FIDE began a couple of years uh, ago. Uh, I, I was invited to a to, uh, journalist commission. Mm, I think it was like six or seven years ago, something like this. But of course, the most important uh, moment was uh, election in 2018. Uh, Grandmaster Nigel Short invited uh, me to his um, his ticket uh, as the deputy president, and uh, during uh, elections in uh, in Batumi, uh, Arkady Dvorkovich appointed me as a, as a FIDE vice vice president, which is uh, like great honor for me to um, to work for for chess in general for FIDE to work with uh, such an uh, amazing group of people and also to to be able this way to sh to show uh, what we are doing in Poland and also as this tournament is uh, is showing to help uh, international chess uh, uh, to 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 grow and i hope that this this tournament will be the the um, uh, very important point of uh, of this uh, time that uh, that uh, I'm working in FIDE. Well, amazing. Uh, thank you so much for this interview, Lukas. And it was a pleasure talking to you. And what a great tournament you have put together. And I hope mm -hmm. it uh, goes smoothly. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for everything. Thank you. Thank you so much.